Hey everybody, this is Michael with Simply03. I'm gonna be showing you a couple of new or updated products that we have. First of all here that I'm not gonna be going over in detail today is the Ozone headset. We've had this for quite some time now, uh, but this is what that looks like. And so you can kind of extrapolate uh, your understanding of that into the headset. But at any rate, the things I wanna show you today, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about making ozonated oil at home as well. Uh, and ozone water. This is our new ozone water bubbler system and this is our new ozone oil bubbler system. So the difference between these two products primarily is that for water we have a fine pore diffusion stone increasing the surface area of the bubbles going through the water. So it ozonates the water faster and it makes it stronger. So that's why we want the fine pore, diffu fine pore diffusion stone there. And then for ozonated oil you don't want to find or diffusion stone. I'm struggling with saying that for some reason. Um, but we just have a little hole in here that's bubbling the ozone gas through the oil. The reason for that is because if you put ozonated or oil into a container like this that has a fine pore diffusion stone, it's going to clog it up. So the fine pore diffusion stone is essentially this little white piece that maybe you can see there, maybe you can't. But it's this uh, kind of glass-like material that has all these little perforations and holes in it. And so if you were to put oil on top of that, it would clog it up and then it wouldn't be any good anymore. So that's why we have two distinct models. Uh, the difference between this and what we've had in the past, um, and we're not quite to the point of launch yet. Just pump your brakes there for a second. So this isn't gonna be shipping out with every product as of right now, but I'm just showing it to you because it will be in the future. Um, the primary difference between this and the product that we have now, the product we have now, there's a big stem that goes into the bubbler and that's kind of unwieldy, unruly. And so we just wanted to get rid of the stem. So we made a product that no longer has this kind of fragile stem that has to go in and it's a pain to take out all that kind of stuff. We just put everything in here. Both caps can unscrew. So you can unscrew both sides and clean it as you wish. Um, and, and that's the primary difference that we made with these is that they no longer use a stem, which is going to reduce breakage, make it easier to use. And you don't have this kind of awkward thing that you're taking on and putting, uh, putting in and taking out each time. So how these work is pretty much the same as the other products work. You have the inlet port here. This is going to connect to the ozone generator. I don't show you how to connect up the ozone generator in this video, because I'm assuming you already know how based on the other videos. Uh, but I'm going to turn my oxygen on, turn my ozone generator on, and then you're going to see it start to bubble through here, all these tiny little bubbles coming up and creating ozone. This is the ozone destruct, which neutralizes excess ozone. So this just connects to the top or any accessory that you want to use thereof. Um, and that's how this works. Ozone goes in, goes through the water, comes out the top, and in through the destruct. It's the same way for the oil bubbler here. It is the same makeup, except you'll notice that it doesn't have all those fine bubbles because it's not that fine pore diffusion stone. It's just ozonating it. So as far as uh, making fully saturated ozone water, it's 12 minutes per eight ounces. So if you have 16 ounces in there, that's a total of 24 minutes to ozonate it. It's kind of weird. Um, it actually doesn't matter the setting that we use, that you use for that because mathematically it works out to be the same. Generally, we just give people a setting to use because everybody asks which setting. So set it to whatever setting you want. Uh, in the manual, of course, there is the setting that specifically says because it's a little bit more to explain like mathematically ends up being the same. But that's just in timed therapies that, you know, follow the, the instructions as they say to, because there's a reason that they're outlined. It's just ozone water and ozone oil are a little weird that way. Um, and then for making ozonated oil at home. So you want to do it at least four to six hours. Um, and you're not going to get the full saturation. So if you're really trying to fully saturate it, you shouldn't be using oxygen tanks because you're going to have to do it for many hours, sometimes days. Uh, in order to get full saturation. And if you're using an oxygen tank, you're gonna use up, have to, you'll have to refill your oxygen tank all the time. So it gets really expensive. The alternative to that with using this machine is you need an oxygen concentrator. Uh, those are kind of expensive. Concentrators worth their salt will be north of $1,000 pretty easily. So, you know, if you're just trying to get a little bit, I just o ozonate it for a few hours and call it good you know, producing it for other people, producing it for sale. This is not the method you want. You want to 
unfortunately, you kind of have to get a big production in order to do that uh, at mass quantities uh, because you have to have specific ozone generators made for that that are really strong, really beefy, very versatile. And then we use like really high grade oxygen concentrators so that we're not filling up oxygen all the time. And then we have this big vat that is uh, cooled down immensely so that we prevent the oil from heating as it produces. So if you are making ozone oil and you're going to full saturation, you won't want to put this in ice for a couple of reasons. Number one is it helps to stabilize the ozone in the oil as a peroxide better uh, and, and it'll last longer. But number two, it prevents the formation of aldehydes such as formaldehyde, which you obviously don't want in your ozonated oil. You do not want ozonated oil that looks like a paste, has a paste-like consistency. That means too much heat was added to the process. We get up to a peroxide value of 1600 and it still remains the same vis viscosity as the oil was when we initially started ozonating it. And that's because we keep it really, 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 really cold as we're producing it. And that's really important. So if you ozonate it to a paste-like consistency, it is going to have the peroxides in it that you do want, but it's also going to have some of the products that you don't want, such as formaldehyde. So anyway, um, the other thing that you have to be wary of, of is that if you're ozonating it for long periods of time, this is a chemical reaction happening right now. So it's breaking down the carbon chains in the oil to create a peroxide. But essentially, you, you are uh, causing a chemical reaction that's creating heat by virtue of the reaction that you want. So what can happen, and this happened to my, uh, unfortunately, my good friend that did pass away recently, Eric Zaremsky, a uh, really, really good guy and, and very notable figure in this space. But anyway, he w told me the story one time of how he was ozonating oil, you know, and had been just running it really aggressively because he had a lot of orders to fulfill. And he was doing it out of his garage, and but he wasn't paying much attention to it. He was just letting it run. And what happened? His garage exploded. How did that? And he was obviously doing more than this. But how did that happen? It's because it exceeded the flash point of the oil. Uh, so when you exceed the flash point of the oil that the temperature does, uh, what does the oil do? It flashes, meaning it causes an explosion, essentially. So... Um, you know, if you're doing, and that's why all of our materials are uh, on creating ozone oil at home are cautionary because we want to diminish any liability associated with that. So, you know, if you do that, that's at your own risk. Uh, you're welcome to, I mean, you're just a person out in the world, so you're welcome to go figure this out just the way I did. Um, but, you know, that that's at your own risk and that's really just going to happen if you're doing it for long periods of time. So, uh, long story short, if you're uh, one other thing that I want to say, uh, it's not going to get nearly as strong as we can get it. Uh, we get a peroxide value of 1600. If I were to ozonate this in the way that I'm doing it now, even if I keep it cold, I at most would probably get up to a peroxide value of 300, 400, somewhere in there, which isn't relatively high to what we can make. Um, so it's not going to be nearly as strong, uh, ozonated oil. Anyway, um, have at it, you know, if you want to make those in an oil, obviously you can put your other attachments that you want up here. Um, and these are the new bubbler systems. So what we're going to be doing though is, is over the next month is we have 20 of these, uh, each one. And what we're doing kind of for fun uh, and to get feedback from people is we're just going to be slipping them into orders that come in over the next month or so. We're gonna be doing a full launch with these at some point next year where all the bubblers will hopefully be changed out to this model. Um, but for the time being, you can't actually just order one of these. Uh, that's not possible. So, you know, I know people are gonna email us and contact us and call us trying to get one of these specifically, but we're not sending them out specifically. We're sending them out randomly uh, for fun and because we want to. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, but uh, yeah, we're going to be sending these out in packages over the next month. Uh, 20 of each will be going out to people at random. Um, and then uh, sometime next year, uh, once we have the production finished, we have a couple small changes to make and tooling and all that. Uh, then we'll be launching this product to everybody. So uh, anyway, good to see you guys. Hope you're doing well.